We're currently doing a project called Who Runs This Place? And many of the figures we've interviewed in sort of government and the media seem to think that it's the banks and financial institutions who really have the power. I'd be very interested to see who do you think runs this place? Well, banks, of course, are uh, in modern societies are um, very large organisations. Um, the RBS balance sheet, I and mean, we are a very big bank by international standards, but our gross balance sheet is well over one trillion pounds. It's a uh, um, thousand billion pounds, if you like, so almost um, unimaginable numbers for, for, for most people. Uh, because we're large and because we're uh, in every aspect of life, we're obviously uh, extraordinarily important. I mean, it, probably uniquely banks have such a, a big reach into individuals' lives as businesses and the, the, the lives of of large corporations and indeed uh, the financing of governments themselves. Um, so we're, we're large, we're very important, we're very significant and it's almost impossible for the modern world to survive without us. That is why when banks got into trouble they had to be rescued because we can't imagine our, our modern life without them. Um, but I think it's another step to say you know banks run the place I and mean, uh, I don't believe they do. You know, those guys in big business, they need to be checked really thoroughly and, and, and they need to be made sure that they don't exert too much power because all those guys want to do is increase the amount of money in their wallet. And your, your concerns or my concerns are of no interest to them. And, um, and really, you know, this society has become, the, the, the actual gap between the rich and the poor has widened under the Labour Party, which is a total tragedy when you consider that they're supposed to be the party of fairness and equality. And I suspect it will widen even more under the Tories if they get in. So, don't trust any of them. <laughs> to become powerful in business or politics, yeah. do you believe it's more important what you know or who you know? Oh, there's a huge element of who you know. You know, I won't lie to you, I got my job in the city just because my brother got me yeah. my job. And basically, um, there is an old school tie network and there's no doubt that if you talk correctly and you know that the port is uh, passed from to the left. <laughs> so I almost don't, a bit rusty. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit rusty. You know, if you know the rules of the game and you talk correctly, you dress correctly, you, 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 were, you met this guy in Eton, you met that guy in Oxford, of course, it, it, you are going to get benefited massively. Nepotism, benefiting of your family and friends, is, is just a natural part of society. I believe that relative to some countries, one thing I will say to defend poor old blighty here, UK, is that I may be naive, but it's a relative game. And in terms of corruption and in terms of nepotism and opportunities, we're not too bad. We're in the top quarter of the world, if not better than that. Because unfortunately, corruption and nepotism and cronyism and scratching your back and I'll scratch yours is endemic everywhere. It's just a natural part of the human condition to benefit your mates and people like you.